Hi everyone, today's video will be a quick tutorial on how to create and convert a QRC file from Qt Designer to Python. First, make sure you have the required site packages installed by running pip list in your command prompt. If PyQt5 and PyQt5 tools isn't in this list, you can easily get them by running these two commands. Now I'm going to move my images into the project directory and then create the QRC file here. The QRC file will use a relative path to these images, so it's best to keep them all together. And now I'm going to launch Qt Designer to show the workflow. To populate the QRC file, you can use Qt Designer's resource browser. You can click on the pencil icon, load a QRC file, create your prefix, and add your images. Using separate prefixes allows for another layer of organization, like a folder structure, but here I won't need the additional separation. Once we make adjustments in the resource browser, they immediately appear in the QRC file. And you can see it's a fairly simple text. You can actually just type this out and make adjustments and save over if you wanted to. And now we can populate our UI with the images. You can drag in widgets, right mouse button on them, select change style sheet, your image, and hit OK. Let's save our UI file out and convert these both to Python. Here's the code to convert the QRC file. The O flag stands for the output file. And note that there is a RC appended to the output file name. I did this because the UI conversion will automatically assume that's how it will be named. And here's the code to convert the UI file. And now we can run our code to see our window displaying the images. Because we converted our QRC file to Python Unicode, that means it's no longer using a relative path to point to an image. The image exists within the Python Unicode. Ideally, you should commit everything to source control so that you can continue making changes and recompile those changes. But once you're ready to launch an app to non-developers, you can clean up the ship product by removing all the images and the QRC file. I hope this was helpful. I'm going to be posting more Qt tutorials like this and other videos on creating tools for VFX software. So if you're interested, subscribe and stay tuned and have a great day. Bye.